Hi, this is Jeff from the Advanced Pro Web Design and Business Network. I'm going to show you quickly today how to add your API key to any Divi theme. Let's take a look. So first thing you're going to do when adding your API key in Divi is go to the elegantthemes.com website. You can do that for a Google search or it's at elegantthemes.com and we're just going to click on it here. Once there, we're going to log into our account and I have my info already in place. Uh, you can set the remember me uh, checkmark button as well, just so you don't have to log in each and every time you go to Elegant Themes. And we're going to click on the member login button. Now, as bad luck would have it, looks like I don't have the right password. So let's see if I can get the right one in there. <laughs> and there we go. Once we're in the members area, you're going to look on the uh, left hand side with the menu here and then at the very bottom you'll see the pink key and you're going to click on API keys. And then you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and I have quite a few API keys installed already because I work full time as a web developer but I'm going to go to the very bottom and I'm going to add a new API key right here where it says generate new API key. So as you can see, it'll add a new API key, which you can copy and paste here. So all you need to do is click on it to copy. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to open my uh, notepad in PC. And I'm going to put that there just so I have it ready for later. And also be aware that you have to have your username as well. And if you're not sure what that is, you can go right back to the top of the screen again. And your username can be found right here under your username. You do the same thing, click to copy and uh, save it into Notepad. So of course to add the Divi API key, you first have to have Divi installed and to make sure you do have it installed correctly, you're gonna look on the left hand side of your WordPress admin panel and you're gonna go down to the bottom where it has the uh, Divi icon. We're gonna click on there and then we're gonna go to theme options. And once we're in theme options, we're going to go to the top purple menu here where it says general navigation, etc. We're going to go all the way to the end on the right and we're going to click updates. And here is where you're going to enter your username and API key and you have that information saved on the notepad as I mentioned earlier. So of course you're going to put in the username where it says username, you're going to put in API key where it says API key and then after that you're going to click save changes and hopefully you'll get a check mark. I have it entered already of course but I'll click save changes and it should do the same thing. And there's the green check mark. Now once the Divi API key has been installed, you still want to go check anyway just to make sure everything's looking okay. And what you would need to do to do that is you go to your dashboard and then you click on updates here. Once in updates, we're going to look for the Divi theme and it'll usually be below the plugins here. And then you'll see I have uh, six themes installed. Obviously, we only want the Divi one. And uh, in my case, since I haven't updated this in a little while, um, I'm going to click on this here. It shows that I have this version installed here, 4.9.7. But I want to update to the latest version, which is 4.23 here. So all I'm going to do is select that particular theme and I'm going to click update themes. And if successful, you'll get this success message here. So if you don't get the success message, the main reason is you didn't enter the username correctly or the API key correctly. So do keep that in mind. And uh, if you do not have a licensed copy of Divi, that will be one of the main reasons as well. So Divi, of course, implements the API key to prevent piracy or making sure no one has an illegal copy that they haven't paid for. So, of course, uh, that's what you want to do as well. Make sure everything is up to date, your payment info is up to date. And uh, if you're able to do that, uh, your theme update should be successful and well done. Good job. Without the API key, you can still use the theme, but you just won't be able to do any system updates. So that means any new features coming out with Divi, any new modules, anything like that, they won't be available. Eventually, also, if you don't update the theme, then certain uh, functionality in this theme won't work as well. So sooner or later, you're going to need an API key or this website will be, for lack of a better term, rendered useless. So you want to have that up to date. You want to usually install your API key in the very beginning, even before um, you start the website. If you found that helpful, be sure to like or subscribe to our channel for more great videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Have a great day.